Nigeria is honored to have these distinguished captains of the aviation industry and industry stakeholders from all over the world who are participating in this event to discuss trends, innovations, opportunities, and challenges in the African aviation sector. As you are all aware, air transport remains an essential component of the global transportation system and is a crucial driver of economic, social, and cultural development worldwide. Air transport generates economic growth and development, provides jobs, and fosters a range of social economic benefits. In order to continue to harness and maximize the benefits of air transport in Africa, it is essential and expedient to continue to promote collaboration, knowledge sharing, and business development within African aviation community that will practically address all the significant and structural challenges. Having this unique and important event for the seventh time demonstrates the organizers' determination and interest to support sustainable development of air transport in Africa. I therefore wish to take this opportunity to appreciate Times Aerospace Limited, who has been the champion of the Aviation Summit, as well as making Nigeria the first country to host this noble event in West Africa. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the recent global events further expose the immense contribution and importance of air transportation as a catalyst for economic development, vital engine of global social economic growth, one of the greatest contributors to the advancement of modern society, and a key instrument for achieving the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, the SDGs Goals. These underscore why the world was greatly impacted when international aviation was disrupted by the pandemic and other global occurrences. It is the vision of this current administration to make Nigeria the aviation hub of Africa. I repeat that again for emphasis. It is our determination to make Nigeria the aviation hub of Africa in order to attract foreign investors the government is already looking at the following areas to improve aviation business in Nigeria. And I invite all of you to please participate, help, with, help Nigeria, cooperate with Nigeria, partner with Nigeria to make this possible. These are the areas we're looking at. Upgrading our infrastructure for emphasis or elaboration. This includes upgrading the CAT-3 landing system at major airports, construction of the second runway in Abuja, which is about to commence right now, airport improvement programs through concession and government willingness to partner with companies to turn major airports into aerotropolis. We actually have that as part of our roadmap right now, the aerotropolis, and we're about to, we'll begin with, with, with Abuja here. We have secured the sites, we secured enough land for it. We have a master plan for the Eritropolis, and we invite the world, we invite everybody to come and partner with us in developing our Eritropolis. So we are looking at the aircraft leasing company. It's part of the roadmap. Government welcomes major players in aircraft leasing and head leasers to invest in Nigeria, airlines, to provide state-of-the-art aircraft, government will ensure enforcement of contract agreements and that rights of investors and indeed all parties are protected. And Nigeria being a signatory to the Cape Town Convention will uphold its international obligations. The third area is aircraft maintenance organization. Maintenance, repair, and overhaul, popularly known as the MRO facility, is another critical aspect that can make the Nigerian aviation industry a hub on the continent. It is rather surprising. I don't want to use um, words that are um, more degrading, but it's rather surprising that in the whole of West Africa, West Africa, there's no world-class MRO facility. As busy 
as populated as West Africa is, we don't have that. Nigeria should take the lead to establish world-class MRO facilities to prevent us from going all over the world to line up with our aircraft for months just to get some sea check done on our aircraft. We have to go and line up months all over the world. We need to turn that around in West Africa and Nigeria should take the lead. So that is something we are taking very seriously and um, we invite the world to partner with us. With the shortage of qualified engineers, the current administration is willing to provide all the necessary support for the establishment of world-class MROs and training organizations. We also look at the area of forex availability. The current administration is aware that one of the setbacks entrepreneurs have suffered in Nigeria in recent years is the fluctuation of foreign exchange and its availability. And then we do apologize, it has affected you know, most of uh, the airlines um, that we have buses with you know, in, in Nigeria. It's one of the issues we actually went to sort out in the UAE. But this administration is committed to ensuring that Forex is readily available to entrepreneurs and I have directed, that's the president, I'm reading the president's speech, I've directed the Central Bank of Nigeria holds quarterly reconciliatory meetings with a view to resolve this issue. Tax holidays. Current administration is open to provide tax holidays to encourage existing and and new entrants into the Nigerian aviation sector. For now, even for those who are local operators here, we have tax holidays and um, even uh, duty free in respect of uh, spare parts and some other, you know, um, parts that uh, they are imported for to fix their aircrafts. It's one of those incentives, and those incentives will um, increase as um, time goes on. I wish to reiterate that my administration will continue to sustain the support being given to the industry. Ladies and gentlemen, I firmly believe that as, a key, as key players and decision makers, this summit will provide the required atmosphere for you to discuss and identify recovery strategies that would attract private investors to support the funding of infrastructure project by building a transparent, stable, and predictable investment climate, as well as include aviation in the continent's national development plans. It is now my special honor to formally declare the seventh edition of the Aviation African Summit and Exhibition 2023 open. Thank you, and God bless you all.